yeah. lastly, what do yeah. people need to bring to you before they come to me or while they're coming mm -hmm. to me? And mm -hmm. I say, well, hey, talk to Anthony. What do they need to have, whether they are self-employed, W-2, what do they need to have? All right. So uh, the type of loan is going to matter. So let's start with just a regular uh, average Joe uh, pay stub type person that's getting paid taxes. That, you know, they're not self-employed. Taxes are being taken out of their paycheck every day. If you're doing an FHA or a VA loan, uh, you're going to need two years of W-2s, uh, not tax returns, W-2, the little slips you get, you know, at the end of the year so that you can go file your tax return. So two years of that. So right now, uh, we're at the point where 2022 W-2s have come out. Uh, they're mandatory to have come out by January 31st. So for anybody doing an FHA or VA loan, 2021 and 2020 W-2, 2021 and 2022 W-2s will be necessary. And, uh, you know, they, FHA wants two pay stubs, but you can submit one now and during the process, as you get another pay stub, you can submit that second one later. I tell my, all my people to just send me one stub up front because the underwriter always asks for a, a pay stub at towards the end of the process exactly, anyway, and that'll yeah. that'll make up your two pay stubs. Now, conventional loan, only need the 2022 W-2s. Unless your income is such where it needs a two-year average. Instances like that are people that are self, I'm sorry, are people that work part-time. If you have a part-time job, then you're going to need two years W-2s, even for conventional, because you need to average out uh, the income from 2021 and 2022 and do an average. But somebody that's working hourly or salary um, and you want to do a conventional loan, only the 2022 uh, W-2 is needed. So that's your regular employed people. Now, self-employed. It gets FHA fun with the self-employed, right? Oh, yes, yes, it does. <laughs> well, and the interesting thing is with FHA and VA, self-employed people need to have the two most recent years tax returns. So, right. uh, you know, at this point, you don't have to have filed 2022. So 2021, uh, 2020 and 2021 tax returns will work. But FHA and VA, two years of tax returns, not the state. You don't two need the state years. stuff, just the Fed. Two years. That, yes. Now, go to conforming and it's, it's a little dicey. Uh, if you've been at this self-employment job, and working, whether it's self-employed as a 1099 or you actually own the business, if you've been doing that for five consecutive years, conventionally, you only need one tax return, the most current one, which could be 2022 or 2021, depending on which one you filed most recently. If you have been operating this business for less than five years, well, then now it's two years tax returns for you on this instance as well. Um Here's one last key note about tax returns uh, when I'm talking about two years and one year and all of that. We're in 2023. So you can't say at this point that you have not filed your 2021 tax returns. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, people can get extensions for tax returns, but those extensions, tax returns are due April 15th of every year. So 2022's tax returns are going to be due April 15th, 2022, uh, 2023, sorry. So your 2022 tax returns are due then. If you file an extension, that's fine. You've got until October, which means you don't have to have filed your 2022 tax returns if you want to buy the house in May, June, July, August, September, or the beginning of October. But once October 16th comes, those 2022s have got to be filed. There are no extensions past that. People might right. think that there are. They may be mistold some information. But- Come October 16th, 2023, those 2022s have to be filed, which is we why I'm saying- We ran into that, didn't we? We ran into yes, that. Yes, we did. I still have some <laughs> people now that haven't, that said, I, Anthony, I haven't filed my 2021s. And I'm, if, if you haven't filed 2021, there's no loan for you right now. Correct. There's no, you've got to, you've got to get that filed. So that's why I'm saying 2021 is not an option to say I, right. I have an extension. It just isn't. Um, now, does the IRS have some crazy circumstances where they'll allow you beyond that October 15th deadline? I don't know, maybe 18 years. I haven't yeah. seen it. I don't know what that would be. I wouldn't plan on that. If October no. 16th comes, you need that year's tax returns done. So, All right. Well, you all heard that. So thank you so much, Anthony. You really broke it down for us. Nah, and no don't problem. be afraid of the interest rate. Anthony should have helped you see. Don't be afraid. Only worry about your particular circumstance. And now yeah. you know what you need to bring before you even start looking for homes. And then, of course, you'll call me, your favorite realtor, and I'll put you in contact with Anthony, your favorite lender. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.